Okay, what do you think will happen if I click on this link? Will my computer crash? Will my Facebook get hacked? Let's see. Check this out. This looks like a normal page with a YouTube video embedded. And I can play the YouTube video from this page. But what actually happened when I clicked this link is that my browser got hooked to the hacker's command and control server. And now the hacker can control my browser. Or at least this particular tab. Let me switch to the hacker's perspective to see what can be done. This is the hacker's perspective and what you see here is the interface of the browser exploitation framework, short for beef. Before continuing with the video, let me make something very clear. This browser exploitation framework is a tool that is used by real hackers and red teamers. So if you want to use it, feel free, it's open source, but do not use it with ill intent. You can use it to hack yourself and learn how things work, but Never ever use it to hack others without their consent. You can even end up behind the bus if you do something like that. So once again, this video is only made for educational purposes. So take it the right way. Educate others about threats like this and stay safe. Okay, coming back to the beef control panel now. On the left side, you can see the browser that is hooked. And you can right away see all the information about the browser like the browser capabilities, IP address, user agent, time zone, cookies, etc. Okay, so why did this happen? Well, it's really simple. The JavaScript on the link that we clicked simply connected itself to the beef framework that is running on the hacker's computer. And this is actually not a big deal because it is the intended functionality of JavaScript. JavaScript creates a way to write instructions that are executed by the browser. That is just JavaScript doing its thing. So with the beef framework, what I can do is I can first make someone click on a link that runs some JavaScript in their browser. And then I can connect to this JavaScript instance from my beef control panel. This is called hooking. So let's see what I can do on the hooked browser. In the commands tab, there are different types of commands that can be executed on the hooked browser. Let me go ahead and execute the Google phishing module under social engineering. As soon as I execute it, you can see on the victim's browser, the web page turns into a Gmail login page like this. It doesn't redirect to a new URL, but it just changes the content inside the web page. It is obviously a fake Gmail page, a phishing page. And if you put your credentials in there, they are obviously captured and sent to the hacker. So if I just come back to my beef control panel, I can find the entered credentials here. Okay, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't fall for something like this. But what about your dad or your mom or your grandparents? They most probably would fall victim for an attack like this just because they may not be so well versed with computers like you and me. So take this as an opportunity to teach them how to stay safe on the internet. I mean, you don't have to ask them to get a computer science degree or anything, but just tell them the basic things that they need to check like checking if the website has a secure connection, cross-checking the domain name, etc. There's another module in Beef that will let you know if the hooked browser is logged in to any social media, like Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail. This can be used for enumeration so that the hacker can find out if the victim is logged in to any social networking sites, and then he can use the pretty theft module, which is also available in the beef control panel to show a fake session timeout message asking for the user credentials to log in again or to continue viewing that page. Once again, obviously this is a fake pop-up and the credentials entered here are just sent back to the hacker. There are multiple social engineering attacks like this that the hacker can perform using beef. If there's anything that makes browser attacks like this even worse, it is using an outdated browser. It is always advised that you use a browser which is regularly maintained and updated. For example, here I have a Windows 7 VM which has Internet Explorer 8 installed. This is an outdated browser and Microsoft actually stopped the support for this a long time ago. I have hooked this browser to my beef panel and guess what? I can execute a module that gets the contents inside the user's clipboard. That's right, this clipboard data can contain sensitive information like passwords. And all it takes for a hacker to steal them is to make you click on a link and that's it. The contents in your clipboard are now compromised and they can be seen by the hacker on his beef control panel. This obviously doesn't work in modern browsers like Chrome or Firefox. So this is another example of why you should always use software that is regularly maintained. 
What makes the browser exploitation framework even more dangerous is when it is used parallelly with the man in the middle attack. In man in the middle attack, a hacker places himself between you and your router using a technique known as ARP spoofing. So when you're communicating with websites on the internet, instead of sending your internet traffic to your router, you are sending it to the man in the middle without even knowing it. The hacker can now see and even modify the internet traffic you are sending as well as receiving. So before forwarding the website responses to you, the hacker modifies them and injects the JavaScript that is responsible for hooking your browser with the hacker's computer. As a result, Beef can now interact and control all the websites that you are using in your browser, which is, as you would expect, game over. As a demonstration, I set up a man in the middle attack such that the traffic between my Windows 11 VM and the internet is forwarded through a proxy tool that is running on my Kali Linux VM using ARP spoofing. I've then written a Python script that automatically injects the malicious JavaScript for hooking into any page that is intercepted by this proxy tool. So when I open the browser in my Windows 11 VM and go to any website that doesn't have HTTPS, the hook.js file is successfully injected to the page by the proxy tool that is running on my Kali Linux. Once the JavaScript file is injected, it means that the browser is successfully hooked to Beef through that particular web page. To see what it can do, let me go to my sample WordPress website. You can see here that I am authenticated, as in I am logged in to my WordPress admin dashboard. Coming back to the Beef control panel, I can now easily retrieve the cookies of my WordPress session because the hook.js file is actually embedded in my WordPress web page. Even more convenient, I can now also add a new administrator account to my WordPress since it's already authenticated on the hooked browser. Once the user is added, I can simply log in to the WP admin dashboard using the newly created account and boom, I now own this WordPress website. And all this obviously happened because I am authenticated to my WordPress dashboard from the hooked or the targeted browser. This is just one of the things that can be done when using beef in conjunction with the man in the middle attack. There are many other things that can be done. The best practices to stay safe from such browser attacks are use a modern and updated browser at all times. Secure your home network with strong encryption and a strong password. And also, try to avoid using websites that have no HTTPS connection. They are vulnerable to man-in-the-middle attacks. If you want to read a more technical version of this video, I will leave a link to my blog post in the description below. So make sure you check it out. So that will be all for this video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below and also leave a comment in the comment section. If you are not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.